What's going on, Internet? My name is Blacklight Attack, and I've got some TF2 for you. I'm playing the Scout with some uh, Attack and Defend, and uh, I'm going to prove right here that I'm a much better Scout than Juggernauts, because I'm just going to absolutely destroy everybody and just go on a, on a real nasty tear here. And uh, this is actually Team Team Fortress Arcade. It was It's a fan-created game. It's completely free, and uh, you're not going to get any viruses if you download it. I've... At least it hasn't alerted my antivirus, so um, I'll put a link in the description. It's really fucking awesome. Uh, all the classes actually feel like they would in an arcade game, like an old school arcade game, um, and it's really fun. I mean, the scouts like super fast. I would I would say the scouts actually pretty easy to play. I'm not gonna say overpowered because it's just you know you versus the computer and it's kind of silly. Um, but he's he's a pretty easy class to finish the game. Um, I haven't finished it yet, but I just wanted to, to get a, a couple of uh, the levels down so I can understand the game. I've only just played the, each class once. Um, and the only class I don't like is Medic, because you really need somebody else to play with in order to, to play the Medic. You can play up to four people, but you have to all be on the same place. He hasn't, he hasn't uh, put in online co-op yet. And what's really hard is you would all have to use the same keyboard. But uh, I highly recommend uh, using a program. I'll also... I'll try to find a link in the description. I use Google to find it. Uh, it's a program called Xpatter, and that'll let you take a, a uh, any gamepad, any like uh, like controller that you plug into the uh, into the computer, and assign keys to it, so that basically it makes any game joypad compatible by assigning the keys from your keyboard onto the controller. Um, and you could see it like like a single player in this game, first player in this game uses WASD to move. So basically what I've done is I've bound up on my D-pad to W, for example, and then left to A, down to S, etc. Um, and then the jump and attack buttons, which I think are H and U for some reason. And uh, and you can see it happen if I open like a text document and then hit up on my D-pad, it's going to type W. So that's basically what it does. And uh, that made it a lot easier to play this game. I like it a lot with the, with the uh, controller. So I can now say that I play TF2 with the controller. But anyway, uh, that out of the way, I highly recommend playing this game, but with that out of the way, I wanted to let you guys know that I uh, put a video up on TGN, it's my first episode of Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke, and I thought it went really well. It actually, I actually put a lot of editing into it. You may be wondering how I could edit Pokemon, but you'll see. Um, and I wanted to thank Samajadra again for making the, uh, the HUD for me. It looks really awesome, and... Uh, I'm actually going to do a little bit more with it next time. But here I'm going to poop on this scout. Uh, is it Juggernauts? I don't know. It might be. I think it is. Watch him, watch him get destroyed. Get pooped on, son. Oh. -ho -ho. Sit down, Jugs. Sit down. Anyway, annotations somewhere on the screen. I don't know. Click it. Later.